out. Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love read. Okay, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. Much of what you see on this channel will not be traditional. Take it as it resonates and leave the rest. For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. Remember that um, if this is third party energy, right, uh, it could be their story and not yours. Okay, as well, um, don't try to make the shoe fit if it isn't yours. If you would like a personal reading, you can find the link down below. There's links for the decks that I've created. There are links for um, the decks that I love, uh, wish list items. If you'd like to send me a Christmas card, there's an address below. You can give a karmic donation. You can get a personal reading. You can find most of my links at mindsetunicorn.me, including the new books and other books that I've written. Okay. So for the collective, okay, get very clear about what you are wishing for. All right. Um, this is my card of you might want for one thing, but actually be wishing for another, okay? Because I have a feeling that um, you are in creation mode, okay? Big creation mode, but you want to make sure that you're creating what you really want, <laughs> okay? So let's go ahead and see what else Spirit has for you, all right? We're using my favorite, one of my very... My very first spread that Spirit had me do for y'all, along with one of my favorite decks from the very beginning, Pro Tarot. All right. Let's see what's going on. Overall energy. Okay. Past energy. Current energy. And future possibilities. Okay. Underneath it all, right? Like there's two sides to every corn here, Sagittarius. All right. And um, I feel like between the lunar and the solar eclipse, um, you kind of got a little confused about really like what, what am I doing? Okay. And I feel that um, dig into the emotions underneath it and you'll figure it all out. All right. Overall energy here, seven of wands, okay? Here's the deal, right? You know exactly what it is that you want, that you're passionate about, what action you want to take. Um, ego is what's telling you to do what everyone else wants you to do, okay? What's going to make everyone else happy? What's going to make everyone else love me? What's going to make everyone else give me validation? That is not what's going to give you soul purpose. All right. In the past here, Page of Swords. I feel like you went through a lot to gain clarity. Okay. To be able to, for some of you, to speak your truth. Current energy right? We've got the nine of pentacles. You are going through a transformation that really is something that only you can go through. Okay. No one can do it for you. Um, it really is kind of like a breakup with ego <laughs> in a way. I do feel that you're going to, um, have some real like money blockages, maybe even removed in the next two weeks. They're showing me my symbol for a fortnight here. All right. And you're bringing in something very happy. Future possibilities, four of pentacles in reverse, right? If this is about money for you, what's coming in to you is going to provide shit tons. Okay. That's all I have to say. If this is in regards to love, what you are working towards, what's going to come towards you is going to be open, not restrictive whatsoever. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify. Okay. Seven of wands. Okay. Nine of swords. Like the reason you're not going after what you want again is about what everyone else thinks, right? You are holding everyone else's opinions 
right here, like above you, creating this glass ceiling, right? And there's the Nine of Wands. The only obstacle, the only fence in your way is the one that you are putting up yourself, right? The only one that can take it down is you to take that action for what you want. Okay, not going to take these all. We've got the Five of Wands, Strength, Ace of Swords, okay, Black Newman, and the King of Wands. All right, I feel like there is just a little bit of a shadow work like shadow war almost so to speak happening okay at play and there we've got the queen of swords right um you think that you are being this fiery badass okay but what you're actually doing is showcasing what you think you're supposed to be doing, not what in your heart and soul you know you're actually being called to. All right. So in the past, Page of Swords, okay, the Empress, right? You fought long and hard to rise up into your own power. Okay. Two of Wands in reverse. But when you got into this position of like uh, strength or sovereignty, depending on whether you are male or female, okay, what you found was restrictions, okay, and paths and choices and not knowing really which one you were supposed to take. So I feel like you became sluggish, okay? Yeah, king of pentacles. Um you started being more concerned with, I feel like, right, again, what does the empire want? What does the kingdom want? Instead of being like, well, I'm the king. I know what the kingdom wants because I'm the freaking king, right? Like, I'm responsible for the kingdom. Nine of pentacles. Okay, Queen of Cups. Okay, again, I'm getting the energy that you have to dig into the real emotions under the surface here. Um, I'm almost being shown, you know, like the sands, so are the, the, uh, the sands of time, so are the days of our life, sort of an energy. Um, you might be losing yourself in TV shows or, you know, other distractions. Um, but your true heart and soul is calling for you to really dig into these emotions. Okay, the Hermit in Reverse and the Ten of Wands. You cannot hide from that which is calling you to let it go, to release, okay, the burdens the snakes in the grass in your um, in your life. There are people that you know are no good for you. And there are things in your life that you know are no good for you. All right. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I feel like you're going to repeat a cycle in order to get the emotional clarity because spirit is like you're not getting it right the devil okay you're following old patterns still all right yeah seven of wands with the three of pentacles in reverse you have a streak within you that does not want to let anyone help you. Okay. Um, even if somebody is fighting for you, there's a part of you that is like, nope, nope, and nope. Okay. Underneath it all, you're rejecting what could be your greatest strength. All right. 
Let's dig a little deeper. Tell me about Nine of Swords. Okay, the tower, right? It is time to eliminate everyone else's freaking opinion of you, okay? On the Nine of Wands here, okay, justice. You cannot balance yourself out if it's all mine and not heart, okay? You can't balance yourself out if it's no mind and all heart. You've got to come into balance, and that means that you either are putting up the fence, the book, you're putting up the guard, or you're tearing it down. You, Spirit is saying, none of the both, right? Okay, Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, right? Like, you want the likes, the accolades, okay, the attention, all eyes on me. And you're getting that. But it's not actually what you know with that Seven of Wands, right? What you know you're supposed to be doing. Can you hear my husband clearing his throat like a million times behind this wall? Throat chakra. Okay. There's definitely a message in that for you. Okay. The Empress. All right. Ace of Cups. Right. You have learned to love yourself. And that in of itself is beautiful. You have healed. Okay. Your water center here, right? Three of swords from all of this really old pain. All right. Two of wands in reverse. Okay, seven of cups, but I think it left you confused, right? It kind of left you on this, in this like work of like, well, now I'm looking at all the shadows and I've done all this shadow work and I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Nine of pentacles, <laughs> the king of pentacles, right? Like you didn't complete the transformation. Okay, hold on just a minute. Okay, we're going to try to continue, but I have no promises. He's still over there having, I mean, not know what sort of throat chakra conniption. Okay. And it's interesting because the moth head, all right, is from here up. Okay. Um, I feel like there is, right, like you've been paying all of the attention to the heart and they're really showing me the will of fortune here, okay, in the root chakra energy. But there is still transformation, okay, that needs to finish up that um, in the past got left behind because you stopped letting yourself think that you were right. All right. So, current energy here, Queen of Cups, okay, Judgment, and the Empress, okay? What's wrong with choosing to be who you are, right? Like, these two women could not be further from different, right? Granola Mama, okay? Empress Diva, sort of an energy, right? Very different. What's wrong with being you? Okay? Instead of trying to be what everyone else wants you to be. Why can't you just choose, now that you love yourself, to be you and quit caring about what everyone else thinks? Okay? Hermit in reverse. Ooh, that came out quickly, okay? Ten of Cups in reverse. Right, you are impatient for that fairy tale love. Okay, there is no such thing as fairy tale love. All right, those heart palpitations. Like, I know I've got two books that are coming out right now, but I have already started my next book. 
which is I've got two next books that I'm actually working on, but one of them is um, The Awakened Heart. And I talk about the chemistry of the attraction and what creates that chemistry between soulmates and divine partners and all of that. And it is biochemical and energetic and it is a little bit of fantasy. Okay. Ten of Wands here. Queen of Cups, right? There is a burden that has been put on you that you have to have this closed off heart in front of others and have to put on a show for others instead of being in your true emotions. And that is, and speaking your true emotions, you're still holding back from that, okay? You're still holding back from speaking your true heart, all right? So future possibilities, we've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, okay, with the Queen of Swords, okay? You still have some work to do, okay, to shut out the ego of everybody else's shite, okay? The devil, okay, three of pentacles. This could be an energy that you have been addicted to from the second you came out of the womb, okay? The devil can be about our addictive personalities and with the retrograde coming at the beginning of the year, you could have this fast paced change coming in to remove this need to be seen but not heard, okay? Because that could be your whole blockage here is that you love yourself enough now to be seen but you're not allowing yourself to be heard, okay? Seven of Wands, High Priestess in reverse, okay? You're not allowing your fire to be shared with the world, okay? King of Cups. And what that is doing is it has been kind of leaving this divine partner energy kind of in the background. But we know Neptune this month is coming in to be like pushy, pushy, pushy. And I believe, I think that it is, um, I want to say that um, Neptune and Uranus have something going on next month that I kind of feel coming in. And you're going to have something come in as a new cycle to try to push your buttons. Okay, three of pentacles in reverse, again, right? The devil. No one can help me. No one is helping me. I have no one. No one, no one listens, okay? This is an awareness that you're going to get that no one listens when you're not open for them to hear you, okay? Right, look underneath the bottom of the deck. Again, we've got with the Ace of Wands. Like, you're like, I'm going forward. I'm doing new actions. Your identity, your truth here, no one's seeing it, right? Because you're still closed off. Okay? You are heading for a breakthrough. But, um, right? Again, I feel like you may have wished for people to see you, but what you really wanted were people to hear you. Let's see what the oracles say. Okay. Delight. Again, it's the wish card, right? Are you wishing for what you truly want? Okay, underneath it all, prosperity. Okay. 
I feel like you want prosperity and look behind that is abundance. Okay. But it has to have heart and it's almost like they're saying heart and brand, like, right? It has to all come together and you haven't quite aligned all of that. But again, you have a soulmate coming in, right? But it's going to be a repeat cycle until you learn this. What came through from the lunar to solar eclipse for you is to believe in the impossible because what's being created here is a once in a lifetime opportunity. But you, again, the blue moon is right throat. Like you have to allow yourself to be heard, not just seen or seen and not just heard, if that's a reverse for some of you. Okay, and goose, inner knowing, right? And look, it is, you are a trumpeter. Okay, where's my glasses? I think I put them in here. I did put them in here. Okay. Okay, you are a brave traveler, but they showed me trumpeter. Have you ever heard the geese? Um, I took a, a video the other day and it doesn't really show much because by the time I opened my door and thought, oh, I better open my door and take a video, most of them were gone. But when I got to the barn, there were literally like hundreds and hundreds of geese flying overhead. And they weren't just flying overhead. They were arr, arr, honk, 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 right? I feel like it says that you are a brave traveler, but I feel like you are a brave trumpeter, okay? Um, your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Okay, loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Okay, release those that don't understand the path forward and allow those that do to help and support you. Okay, so I hope this helps you. And I know there wasn't a lot of love like in this one, but we've got King and Queen of Cups, all right? I do feel like you have something amazing coming forward, but Spirit really wants you to focus in on, you know, flowing through this cycle and learning this lesson. It's really important. I feel like, you know, there's a lot about your message. There's a lot about your truth and you needing to express that. All right. So I hope that helps you guys have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful week. And I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.